Matthias Klum and Johan Hoppström. We're here to uh, launch our new book, uh, The Human Quest, Prospering Within Planetary Boundaries, here in Rio de Janeiro at the Rio Plus 20 Summit. Um, we have had uh, some fortune so far. We have had a good reception and uh, we do hope that our book will be well received and uh, hopefully a tool in a greater toolbox to explain really what we're up against but also explain both challenges and opportunities and possibilities ahead. Because it, it does provide for the first time a comprehensive summary that humanity is facing boundaries within which we can have economic growth and prosperity that was not there in the negotiations in 1992. It summarizes for the first time that we have to be very careful not to push the environment too far because then it hits back with tipping points. And we tell the story that we need a transformation and that transformation is possible. And that a strategy is the mind shift, reconnecting society to the biosphere, and a strategy of investing in, in the remaining beauty on Earth. And we're carrying this as far as we can into the negotiations uh, the Brazilian Minister for the Environment uh, was with us at, at the launch and, and was very impressed and happy to get this uh, support. And, and we even have more strong, because after all, the, the legacy of sustainable development in the world, also Grohal and Brunkan, who has written a forward to the book. So we're trying to play the book as, as a tool for dialogue. Um, we're also carrying it in scientifically because uh, I'm playing a role here also to work together with the International Council for Science and also running a set of dialogues with the Ban Ki-moon, the UN Secretary General's high-level panel on global sustainability, together with the Nobel Laureate Symposium process, which was hosted by the King of Sweden in Sweden in 2011. So actually, uh, His Majesty and, and, and uh, the Queen of Sweden, Her Majesty, has, has also, they have also been with us in these science business policy dialogues, which we will now, tomorrow, and the day after tomorrow, communicate straight to the heads of state. So we're really trying to bridge this, this gap between uh, knowledge and policy and change. And the book itself also tries to bridge the gap between heart and brain, uh, empirical evidence, science, with the art of photography. Uh, and hopefully sometimes when it really works, uh, the, the, you know, it's hard sometimes to relate to uh, these issues. They become abstractions for lots of people. And we do hope that through science, but also through phot photographic narrative, that we can actually bridge the gap between heart and brain and, and thus make people feel that this is up to all of us and that we can all make a difference. So that's that's our strong belief, firm belief, and we, we do hope that some of this will go all the way to the negotiations.